match day then against Stockport at home. It's it's going to be a huge game. There's going to be loads of fans there from both sides. Stockport are rumored to be bringing nearly 2,000 fans, which is great support. If you're thinking of it in terms of attendance today, I think we could see maybe borderline 10,000, 9,000 around that area, which is great for national league level. It's going to be, you know, a real good game today. I've just got that feeling. Um, bit of news then, obviously, Stockport released yesterday that they signed Sarkovic, the ex Bolton captain. They signed him on a free, which is <clears throat> it's a good bit of business. Uh, their squad has ridiculous depth to it. They're not really on the form that I'd have expected them to be on at the minute, but I do feel like they're going to be in and around their top three at the end of the season. So this is a huge pinpoint to see where we're at as a squad, where we're at as a club, um, how the tactics come into the game from Bertrand's point of view. It's going to be it's going to be a huge test and very telling game, a very telling few weeks for not ahead. Um, I've just picked my team on Fan Hub as well. I've gone for 3-5-2. Um, Patson in goal, my three centre-backs are Brindley, Chitson and Cameron. My wing-backs are Kelly Evans, Joel Taylor. My midfield three are Ed Francis, sort of defensive mid-roll. And then Palmer and Vincent. And then up front, I've gone for Ruben Rodriguez and Kyle Wharton. Now, I've left Mitchell out because I feel like he'd be a really good impact sub. Uh, and I've left Kyle out because I feel like he's a bit of a risk and we've seen it happen before. So I wouldn't like to, to risk him again. I mean, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if he is fit. But yeah, I've got a few errands to run today, so I'm not going to bore you with those throughout this video. Uh, I'll catch up with you just before I am uh, waiting for Tom to pick me up. And yeah, Tom, we'll catch up with you also. Just going to pick George up. Um, I'm very excited for this game, also nervous because this is a huge game. This is the, easily the biggest since Wrexham. We've actually performed against Wrexham and we're unlucky not to come away with more. But this is a Stockport side that have brought in reinforcements, you know, bringing in Bolton's captain. You've already got Paddy Madden in the side. There's Rooney in there that we know has hurt knots in the past. So um, it's going to be a tricky one. Um, team news is out soon. Uh, I'll go and pick George up and then you know, we'll, we'll see what the sides are looking like. Just arrived at the stadium then, me and Tom are making our way in. Team news is out. I'm most elated about Vincent, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. We've actually had to find somewhere quiet to do it because it's it's heaving. What's the time now? You're looking at about 22 quarter two. Stockport fans everywhere, fans queuing to get in med lane. It is a very good atmosphere. Like we're not even in the ground yet. Yeah. Um, I agree what I say about Vincent. Harsh on Mitchell, but... Uh, uh, Impact Mitch up. Yeah, coming off the bench after scoring two is very good. Um, you can hear the fans now, can't you? You can hear him chanting. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. You can, and most of all, I'm liking that midfield three. Yeah, me too. Corner. Stay away. 
cleared away, but it's a very good start for Knox. Just gone 24 minutes into the first half. Dion's looking really good. He's probably the star player for me at the minute, but we're still mainly on top of Stockport a reason the way into the game. It's going to be an interesting game. It's developing really well. Hopefully we see a goal soon because we have had our chances. Unbelievable chance for Knox. Um, I think Rodriguez puts through Wooten. He's one of the keeper. He could literally take two or three more touches. And he's hitting too early and the keeper's made a decent save. It's not the best effort. Knox should 100% be one up here. It's about five minutes before half-time. Stockport are claiming for a penalty, but it never was. Cameron just guided it out really well. Paddy Madden's coming off for them. He looks like he's got a little bit of an injury, which is, it could be good for us. It could be bad for us, depending on who they bring on for him. So it'll be a 10 but, a few but, minutes. Uh, new signing for Poland's coming out. Yeah, he is, yeah. Sarkovic, yeah. Is Sarkovic is coming on, yeah. That should be an interesting development then. Half time it's nil nil. I know what's coming. I do know what's coming. Wotton has literally just missed from four yards out. Unbelievable play. Taylor's playing amazing. His inclusion ahead of Chickson is actually merited. He's defending really well. Um, but playing a team like Stockport, missing his chance, you're not going to get away with it. I do want to stress how good was that first half? Very, very good. If we can somehow continue that in the second half, then we're laughing. But, you know, we've created two very good chances there just for Wotton. And the two or three others that, you know, they, they're good chances, but they're not as clear foot as Wotton's. You'd expect that from him. I'm sure he's human with himself, but he has to. Right? Has yeah, to. And, and I just, I've known not so long enough to know what's going to happen second half. I really hope it doesn't. But, you know, this change with Madden going off, New signing coming on. It's changed things slightly, hasn't it? It has, yeah. About seven minutes into the second half, then we'll pretty much continue now we start the first half they did have a, a chance early on in the second half but you know it's, it's looking good we just had a, a free kick in a corner that we didn't really get much wrong but it, it's positive movement so uh, I'm hoping we keep going and Nick will go whilst we're on top Past the hour mark, Dion has just been absolutely clattered by one of their players. I'm surprised he's not been sent off. Uh, everyone was calling out for a red card. He's only picked up a yellow. But I think it's going to slow it down for us a bit because they were on the break. So um, try and get back, Brick's back on the game. Now we scored. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it develops. Fan wanted Vincent in the starting lineup has just paid off. He gets the assist for the first goal, he scores the second goal, coolest finish you'll ever see. We're so on top here, yeah. we're on the attack again. Let's talk about Ruben, unplayable today. Best game okay. I've seen, one of the best I've seen the not sure for me, genuinely. Every, best everything he's done has been pinpoint, his passing is, oh, he's just been brilliant. Uh, Brian's just come off, must be shattered. Um, Cal Robs has come on, so it offers a bit more of a threat on the break, but for about the last five minutes, it's been all stop for. Um, we just need to hold out here, and there's, there's a lot of balls coming into the box as well. They've actually got an opportunity here. Great block, another block, corner of Stockport again. 87 minute, we're controlling the game. Our game management has been unbelievable. We've, we've even had a couple of chances, but Stockport don't really look like getting into this game uh, in the dying minutes. So, fingers crossed. I mean, we look like even getting another. Head up in Stockport, it's a mix up between Cameron and Rawlinson. Uh, definitely, it's definitely a penalty. 
pots are making itself big. I'm not sure who's taking. Come on, ref. Maybe a minute left after this, possibly. Oh, nearly saved it. Must be a minute. Must be one left. Two on. Back in the car, we've edited all the videos, put them all up. So much positivity of fans when we were leaving Medellin today. That really felt like a performance that we knew was going to come this season. Um, it hadn't come yet. You know, it was very good against Yeovil, but it wasn't the intensity and the level that we've seen today. It was the performance that I've been waiting for, certainly for the first however many dozen games of the season. Frank Vincent. Uh, he's just, he's just been saying Frank Vincent for 25 minutes on the walk back to the car. <laughs> But yeah, unbelievable, we're going to get driving back now and I, I, I for well know I'm going to have a good weekend because as a football fan you fully know that results affect your mood for the weekend. Prime Vincent. Voice is starting to go, so I'm glad this is the last clip on the video. What a fantastic day, great result for Knotts. We beat Stockport 2-1, dominant performance, just everything that you wanted us to build on, push forward. Obviously, if you've seen the last clip, uh, I'm, I'm so happy for Vincent. He's done really well today. He's been fantastic since he's come in and it's only been two games. Um, yeah, enjoy doing the video today. If you have enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel because we're going to be doing plenty more like this. Like the video and comment, tell us how much you liked it, what you thought of the game if you were there. And um, yeah, thanks for watching guys.